So yep, we've made our way back to the corner of Yes Ma'am and Dude. So we love the Thunderbird Inn. We stayed here earlier this year. We're back again. Good central place to be able to walk around downtown Savannah. Maybe get a drink on. Maybe get some sightseeing on. And later on, we'll get some Christmas on. And they're all about the safety. Back at the Thunderbird Inn. This is our room. Basic is as basic does. The illusion of a rotary phone. TV. Guidebook to Savannah. And of course, your two free bottles of RC Cola per night. Although, there used to be moon pies and I'm finding a severe lack of moon pies. Fridge, coffee maker, sink, restroom. Here's a good shot of everything Thunderbird has to offer. Just your basic two-floor hotel, motel, Holiday Inn. Right next door to the Embassy Suites with their fancy oil burning lamps. I mean, you want oil burning lamps? You pay extra at the Embassy Suites. You want a fun retro hotel to use as home base while you're out enjoying all that Savannah has to offer? You got a Thunderbird. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Walking in the rain. Just walking in the rain. We're gonna cut through beautiful Telfair Square. I have missed the beauty of Savannah, Georgia. Came across this wig store. This is obviously Satchel from Steel Panther, but more importantly, Bride of Frankenstein back there. Savannah Holidays. And now we're cutting through Johnson Square, a little tour group going on here. You can see they have a mandatory mask order going on in Savannah. I think we're gonna stop and eat lunch at Debbie's restaurant on the day. Grilled meatloaf, maybe. And they've got Mary's famous grilled sub. You're famous. And here's breakfast. I was thinking chef salad, but you know what? Should've eat a salad out. We're sitting in this pretty awesome back room. This used to be a yellow fever hospital back in the day. And of course, much like other areas in San, San Savannah, <laughs> I'm at Sanford. <laughs> like all other areas in Savannah, it's haunted. Yes. Bo. French onion soup, grilled cheese. And that's a BLT crab cake sandwich. Mm. And now we're on our way to our main destination of the day. This giant boat going by. And there's our destination. The Great Face Museum. And straight out of Clerks, I assure you, we're open. We've got to go down these super slippery steps. Only to be followed up by these super slippery oh. bricks. <laughs> and rocks. Hello. Hello. We've made our way here to the Grave Face Museum, Oddities Museum, focusing on all things unusual, macabre, unique, and mysterious. Also a record shop and pinball on the kid inside. Ooh. We've made our way in. This is kind of like the sideshow, freak show type of room. It's the fish girl made by Homer Tate. He actually used his wife's hair to make that. That's a book of poetry from Homer Tate. Oh, so cool. The world's smallest acrobats. Look at them. They're part of a traveling circus sideshow in the 60s. Super creepy. Another Homer Tate piece. 
Pete Hennon's baby show. Spider fawn. Born with two heads and six legs. And our favorite, the Fiji mermaid. And actual shrunken heads from Homer Tate. Another Homer Tate shrunken head, but it's the wolf boy. Dude, this is ridiculous. The wood on this wall came from a voodoo house in Savannah. It was actually her house. And this is an elderly woman doll that was recovered from that house before it went on fire. This wood is post-fire. It was saved. And this is a hoodoo coffin spell. That was also salvaged from Ophelia Bakery's property. Jungle Pygmy. That is so crazy. The Jersey Devil. And this is Clementine, the five-legged cow. And a unicycle riding bear. This is a Haitian voodoo skull. Oh, dude, Heaven's Gate. So, it's a, the radio signal says not only a good amount of good More Heaven's ball, Gate stuff. This is so crazy. That radio in the right place because that radio still has all those dollars you don't want to have huh. all those activities. This VCR came from Heaven's Gate. Bring that age, and oh, they would have no evidence. Letter of letter from Charles Manson here, too. And a doodle. They would have no evidence of it because they have no books that say this has ever happened before. Sweatpants that, 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 that Charles Manson wore in prison? Yes. Got some items from Shoko Asara. Oh, the Necronomicon. Yeah. What? Satan's power. Writings of Aleister Crowley. Mr. Crowley. <laughs> the human spy from Anton LaVey's collection. Haunted figures. Wow, look at that baby. That's what I said. Oh dolls. my god. So all of these dolls were in one office at a time, and they had an exorcism done. Supposedly some of the dolls were more receptive than others. Oh, I'd love to see one of them move right now. Come on. Move. Jim Jones's actual glasses. No way, and flavory, dude. This is the whole thing, drinking the Kool-Aid. You know yeah, where that came from? No way. Oh, it's a Last Rites kit. It's an Oddfellow skeleton. Embalming and anesthesia equipment from the 40s. And this is a wax head from an embalming school. I feel like we've made a really weird turn here. Hello, bear. There's pinball games. Oh, it's kind of like going to like an old video store. Dude, Gunnar Hansen. Oh, more Gunnar Hansen. You ever wonder like whatever happened to like the other people? Oh, this is cool. Gallery of Freaks. I love those old hand-painted Freak show, sideshow posters. Hey, Terror Vision. I saw that. And Chopping Mall. I mean, these are classic. Silent Night, Deadly Night. I always think there's way too much Krampus in the world these days. There should be more Silent Night, Deadly Night. Joe Bob Briggs. I mean, Idol. We finally met him last year. We've got some promo stuff for some like B level horror movies. Check this out. Go away to horror, the VCR game. Terror Vision little prop there. And there it is. Silent Night, Deadly Night. That is a classic. And if you haven't seen it, you need to see it. Of course, the VHS. Oh, U571, John Bon Jovi movie. I was just going to say. Basket Case is probably that's one of my aunt's favorite movies. I've watched that like a million times. Oh, Basket Case. The Chopping Mall. Faces of Death. Oh, my buddy Dave watched these Faces of Death movies over and over again. One of my favorite B-movies of all time, Toxie. Oh my god, Toxie. 
Oh boy. Oh, redneck zombies. Some promo stuff for surf Nazis must die. I mean, classic. I must miss this room of aliens here. Samuel Collins spacesuit. Oh. Oh look at that. Oh wait, I was gonna It's Bert and a pig man. Oh and another sign. What are these pimple games? Elvira, Gorgar, Dracula, Nub Dracula, Monster Bash, Bone Busters, Ghosts and Goblins, Freddy. And so all of the pimple games are set to free play. That's awesome. I found Annabelle. This was playing super creepy music before. And uh, Ernie's head. Check out all the songs. And all of these songs, what do you think I would play? <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Hello, Ronald. Ronald McDonald should have tipped us off here. Uh-huh. Clowns, clowns, clowns. Bozo. I had a Bozo light switch when I was a kid. It would terrify me constantly. You know these old circus flashlights that you would take like the lid off and on a string whip it around weary willy this is a clown in a box it's literally dwight Dewey adams that's him in the picture but then he's in the box his cremated remains and that's his nose and his hat that's bizarre <laughs> ironically the video is playing stuff about coney island and the side shows it's like cat dog but it's just dog dog <laughs> The baby circus and the two-headed baby. Fire of the Magnificent, Sandow the Great, Billy Bud, the two-headed baby, the world's smallest woman. Whoa, that is so cool. John Wayne Gacy. What kinds of Artwork. Good news, Jam Wayne Gacy, like Mickey Mouse. And the Seven Dwarfs. This whole section is related to Ed Gain, horrific criminal inspiration of Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Silence of the Lambs, etc. All of these pieces. Are from Alan Wimowski, probably butchering that name. Who's the lead investigator of the case? We actually have like trial documents, interviews, all kinds of photos. Photos of the actual farm, crime locations, crime scene photos. And this is one of the interview sessions. That was so cool. Hmm. That was 20 bucks for adults. I think there's discounts for military, um, military frontline and, workers. Okay, that's what it is. <laughs> but very cool. I'd definitely go back because they change things up. They have uh, exhibits that'll be happening on a regular basis. Now it's wandering time. Savannah's Candy Kitchen. And it is Christmas time. Tonight there's an event on the river. Boats lit up for a parade and then fireworks. You know, the last time that we were here, we said we wanted to get on the Georgia Queen. I looked at times for tomorrow and it didn't fit into the schedule again. Womp womp. We gotta be here longer than one day. <laughs> And I've been dying to see leaves on the floor or leaves changing color. And we got it going on here. This is still far enough south. We can move here. <laughs> in the warehouse, the coldest, cheapest beer in town. And in Savannah, it's open walking with beer, so 
You get your drink and walk the street. What's your basic bar? And they do have live music in here. We checked out these little areas when we did a little walking haunted pub tour earlier this year. Right now, walking up this giant hill. Cannons to the left of me. Cannons to the right of me. Across the street, Moon River Brewing Company. We were there on our last trip. Very haunted location, especially in the upper floors. Drinking on the street. Yes. Some delinquent. <laughs> A couple of the windows. Walking down Congress. Can't wear my glasses because they keep fogging up. <laughs> Passing by Ellis Square. Ellis, Ellis, Ellis. All right, we got one last place to hit on the way back to the hotel. Stopping back at the Rail Pub. The best dive bar we've been to, period. Back inside Rail. This is like the Southern Rudy's. All right, we're gonna see if we can try to get into Lulu's Chocolate Bar. A little bit about Lulu's Chocolate Bar. They have voted the best. Best dessert, best martini, best waitstaff. Look at all of this goodness. That looks amazing. So we made it in Lulu's as a walk up. And there is distance seating, so you can see there's taped off tables. Yeah. Peanut butter pie. Peanut butter martini. Cream brulee. And a Lulu teeny for Mary. Cheers, everybody. By the way, this is all absolutely amazing. It's incredible. Well, Lulu's lived up to the hype. We actually watched other YouTube videos about Lulu's, that's how we knew about it. But amazing desserts, martinis, martinis are strong. So yes. if you've watched our channel before, you should know I like my drinks to, to actually feel like they have alcohol in them. And I can tell you, those drinks <laughs> definitely had alcohol in them. So. We're gonna walk back to Thunderbird. Get ready for some Christmas lights tonight. We'll upload that as a separate video. Thanks a lot for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. We'll see you guys.